If y'all love s'mores like I do, you've got to make these gluten-free s'mores cookies. They have a crunchy toasted marshmallow in the middle and they're loaded with milk chocolate and graham crackers and they're super easy to make. So let's get into it. Okay, I'm starting by creaming my butter until light and fluffy. This is a half a recipe I'm doing here and that's just because I had some video difficulties when I was making the full recipe. So I went ahead and made another half recipe just so I could get it properly on video. <laughs> so now I've added in my brown sugar and I'm really um, creaming this until nice and light and fluffy. So this will take a couple of minutes, two to three minutes at least to get really smooth, lighter in color and fluffy. And I'm adding in my eggs. Normally it would be two eggs and I have salt and baking soda here that I am adding into my Kim's gluten-free all-purpose flour blend for which you'll find the recipe on my blog and in the description box below the video. You can use a store-bought, it should be fine. So we're adding that in along with graham cracker crumbs. These are gluten-free, of course. They are my recipe, so, so, so easy to make. Believe it or not, they're easier to make than, than it would be to go and find them in a store. At least in my opinion, anyway. They take literally like less than a half an hour to make. And I'm adding to this vanilla. And now here's the chocolate I'm using. These are Hershey bars that I've chopped up into little pieces. Hershey bars are the traditional um, chocolate used in s'mores. So I wanted to go fully traditional on the s'mores vibe. If you want to use dark chocolate instead of milk chocolate, go for it. So we'll add in the remainder of those chocolate bars and I put aside some to use for the top. So this is a pretty stiff dough, but I'm going to actually refrigerate it for at least a half an hour to make it a little bit easier to shape these things because you do have to like shape them. <laughs> and I'll show you in a second. So we'll get this into the fridge for about a half an hour at least. And then I'm weighing each one out into a nice big ball. You can make them smaller and I'm flattening them between my palms, adding a large marshmallow in the center and kind of folding and wrapping the dough around that large marshmallow. So after you've got all of these shaped, we want to put them in the freezer for like 15 minutes. 15 minutes is all we really need for that. And that's just so the uh, marshmallow will be nice and firm and not like turn to um, liquid once the cookies are done but see this is nice and firm so we'll get this into a preheated 325 f oven for about 20 to 25 minutes until puffy and i mean look at these look at how good these look but you can't see the chocolate so that's why i put aside a little bit of chocolate and i'm just going to take a little bit of this and add it to the warm from the oven like hot from the oven cookies and the chocolate melts just from that residual heat from the oven and that is it you guys super super simple to make you've got your chocolatey melty goodness and then the toasted marshmallow that's crunchy it's got a nice crunchy crust on the outside the graham crackers like offer that like really unique crunch inside the cookies these are just absolutely incredible i hope you get a chance to make them they are ooey gooey delicious like summertime treats here and i hope you like them enjoy <laughs> <laughs> 